Hello everyone, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and happy Memorial Day. I'm here having some fun and I have this very complex thing that I'm trying to do, but it requires me to uh, input expressions all at once and there's a really nice way of importing them and exporting them and I thought I'd show you that. So I've got this uh, file here and I'm going to start by just making a block that's 10 by 10 by 10, uh, or let's see, let's put 20 in the last one, and say OK. So now, as you can see, if I go to the expressions editor, I have P5 that was from somewhere else. I've got P7, P8, P9, 10, 10, 20. Great. Now, I really want a width, a height, a hole diameter, and a number of holes in this member that I'm creating. It's a simplified version of what I'm doing. And so I want to make a file that has those expressions in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is say export expressions and it's going to ask me for a no file name and a place to put it and I'm going to call this E-X-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N-S, -S -S -S, expressions. And I'm going to say OK. So there you have it and say OK. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go into the operating system. So there we go and here's the file that I just created. I'm going to uh, uh, edit it in Notepad notepad and as I can see or as you can see the expressions all have the uh, uh, in in bars uh, in square brackets the units that these expressions refer to so now I'm going to copy this line and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to paste it here paste paste Okay, this is probably enough. And I'm going to change these uh, numerical values to what I need. So I'm going to have a height. I'm going to have a width. I'm going to have a length. I'm going to have a hole diameter. And I need one more. I need the number of holes, and that's going to be n equals 3. Notice I don't have the millimeter uh, um, modifier in front of it because this is a unitless number, because this is just a number of something. And I think I'm going to make the length longer, like 200. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I think I want spacing in between the holes. And so I'm going to just copy this much, whoop, that much, copy, and I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to say spacing equals 20. All right, so that's everything that I want for this simple part that I'm going to create. And I want to say file save. And so that's expressions. That's my expressions.exp. Great, so now I can go back into the, I'm going to just delete this, I don't need this thing. I'm going to go back into my part file, I'm going to say control E, and there is an import expressions right here. Import expressions, I grab this, I say OK, gives me a little warning, and lo and behold you've got the height, the length, the whole diameter, the width, and the spacing all coming in perfectly. Uh, next, I'm going to say um, block, and when I type in H, it gives me the height. When I type in W, it gives me the width. When I type in L, it gives me the length. I say OK. So there's my bar. That's a nice bar. My hole diameter, what was my hole diameter anyway? The hole diameter was 20. Oop, OK. So I want that hole diameter to be smaller. So I'm going to put a 10 there. And say OK. All right, next I'm going to put a hole right there. And I'm going to regulate the uh, diameter by, when I type in H, I get hole D underscore DIA. Apply that. Great. And finally, I'm going to do the pattern feature. I'm going to pattern this hole linearly about this vector. There's going to be a count 
of n, so it remembers the count from something I did before. I'm going to put the uh, pitch distance as spacing and say OK. So there you have it. I have a very, very powerful ability to um, bring in all of my expressions from a separate file. And of course, once I bring them in, I can then change them. So for example, I want n to be 7. And that happens. Fantastically parametric. And the real uh, advantage to using this particular ability is when you have an assembly and you have a number of things that all have to match up just right. So you can make a expression, a file for the, all the expressions and you can drive the different components with that one file. Uh, in subsequent videos, I'll show you how to hook all of this up to a spreadsheet so you can control a bunch of files in an assembly with one spreadsheet. Like if you want to do a space frame or something that where there's a lot of complex parts that fit together. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that little piece of that little tidbit. I hope uh, you use it to your great advantage. My name is Steve Samuel. I so enjoy doing these for you and sharing these techniques. Please like and subscribe and tell people that this resource is here because there's a lot of people who are using NX that are doing the most fantastic things ever known to humankind. And sometimes they need a little help with the different functions and features. So please share. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time online. Thanks again.